Take into account whilst you used to draw animals as a child the use of something colored crayons you had to hand. You in all likelihood created ridiculous things like red polar bears, bright yellow parrots, white lions, and crimson grasshoppers. However, what if I instructed you all those matters are not as made up as you might think? The animal nation is a long way more colorful than you recognize, and coming up are some of the world's rarest creatures that clearly gained the genetic lottery. Primary Melanistic Fox When you consider the world's most beautiful wild animals, foxes in all likelihood do not spring to mind. However, have you ever ever seen one like this before? This is the noticeably rare and majestic past fox, which was once ample in the United States till they have been in large part killed off inside the late 19th century thanks to excessive demand for their specific fur. Moo foxes are nearly identical to red foxes, however they have a larger, bushier tail with more wool below their toes. The cross fox was given its call way to the lengthy, dark stripe running down its again, intersecting some other striped to form a move over the shoulders. Their especially specific coat is the end result of a partially melanistic variant. Melanistic is essentially the opposite of albinism, which means that an abundance of darkish colored pigment is produced beneath the skin. Even though melanistic foxes make up about 30% of the Canadian fox populace, they're nonetheless a completely rare sight to look. However, there is an even greater elusive kind, Wide variety too, the silver fox. These mysterious foxes are a totally melanistic version of the cross fox created through years of breeding. As you can see, they have got a sleek black undercoat with a top coat that seems like they have got been dusted with silver, in addition to some white coloring at the tip in their tails. One thing's for certain, you'll be especially fortunate to peer the sort of foxes raiding your packing containers. Range 3 King Cheetah. Note something out of the regular approximately this cheetah. Take a better observe that impressive coat while in comparison with its run-of-the-mill counterpart, and you will see what makes the so-called king cheetah so properly sought after. This lovely huge cat is a ramification of the regular cheetah with an unprecedented mutation that produces cream-colored fur with massive blotchy spots and three one-of-a-kind darkish, extensive stripes extending from the neck all the way down to the tail. At first, it became concept to be a one-of-a-kind species altogether, before it changed into observed that the fur pattern turned into in reality, resulting from a recessive gene that promotes the overproduction of melanin within the skin. Again in 1926, primary A. Cooper shot a king cheetah and observed how the fur was thicker and darker than ordinary, so he named it after himself. Photo, you kill an animal after which name it after yourself. That's some nerve. Luckily, an English zoologist wasn't impressed and renamed the animal Asinonyx rex. Rex translates as king in Latin, and the king cheetah become born. This elusive massive cat is truly one of the rarest animals in the international. There are most effective about 30 or 50 inside the entire world. As few as 10 of these are notion to exist within the wild at the same time as the others are in included parks and wildlife reservations. You realize, when the king cheetahs heard how uncommon they were, they began to get depressed. Now they may be found moping round as opposed to status proud and regal. Quantity 4 Purple Catedid This quite red insect is a catedid, which might be related to grasshoppers and crickets and generally located within the tropics, just like the Amazon rainforest. Generally, catedids are green, but those amazing red editions were first described back in 1874. Due to the fact, then, there has been severe dialogue over the origins of their fantastic hue. At the turn of the 20th century, Harvard entomologist Hubbard Scudder advised that the crimson coloring could be seasonal, which means the usually inexperienced insect could change colorations with the autumn leaves because the temperature drops. However, this concept become debunked while myrmecologist William Morton Wheeler found vivid crimson catedid nymphs in the prairies of Wisconsin and Illinois at some stage in the summer season of July 1907. Finally, the fact was discovered. These pimped-out insects be afflicted by a genetic mutation managed by using recessive genes, which is called erythrism. This 